Boston Red Sox prevailed last night in a 9-7 victory over the New York Yankees. We'll be breaking down tonight's Game 2, where we have another money-making opportunity on a first five play. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I'm in action tonight with a 5% MLB max bet. I also need to let you guys know about some early bird football specials that we're running over at Wager Talk and Sports Memo. But for now, if you guys enjoy the content, smash that like button. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel. Let us know who you got tonight, whether it be side, a total, a player prop. This game or any game on tonight's slate, we'll be checking the comments, responding back to you guys throughout the night. So we cashed on our MLB video last night. Red Sox, first five, plus a half run. Uh, they won it outright. If you took the money line on the first five, you got some nice plus money on that one. Red Sox prevailed four to three in the first five, nine to seven on the game. We also cashed our hitter prop lean, Ref Snyder, over one and a half HRR. He gets there in his first at bat, getting on base with a hit, and then getting driven in like we kind of predicted in yesterday's video. We also cashed our 5% MLB max bet, Kansas City Royals, no sweat, 6 nothing on the money line uh, over the Chicago Cubs yesterday. So feeling pretty good about where we stand in the MLB right now. And uh, we're 9-6-1 on our MLB July video, so happy with that. Looking for win number 10 tonight. We got Yanks at Red Sox again. First pitch, 7.15 p.m. Eastern. Game will be nationally televised on Fox. Red Sox leading the season series 5-2, to two, but Yankees slightly favored tonight again. Negative 115 on the money line. Red Sox, negative 105. Total all the way up to 10 now. We got a couple of uh, right-handed starters here. Marcus Stroman, Cutter Crawford. Uh, Crawford, brutal outing last time out. On the season, he has a 6-8 record, 3.37 on the ERA, 1.05. Nice whip, 1.05. Uh, but he was crushed in his last outing against the Dodgers. He got six, uh, five innings pitched, six earned runs, and including five home runs in that game. The ball was flying out of the yard against Crawford there, but he Crawford has pitched well against the Yankees this season. Seven shutout innings in one start, another start at home, where he allowed three runs across six innings. This Yankees lineup has been, I mean, inconsistent to say the least, but um, they have hit right-handed pitching pretty well recently, although I think Crawford is going to be able to handle them pretty well. He's done well against them so far this season in two outings. On the other side of things, we got Marcus Stroman, 7-5, 3.51 on the ERA, 1.31 on the whip. Uh, he's been inconsistent, kind of like the Yankees lineup last time out against Tampa Bay. He allows three earned runs across five in the third innings. And uh, he also struggled against Boston in his lone start. He allowed four runs across five innings pitched. The alarming thing there, though, was he allowed 11 base runners, seven hits, and four walks in that game. Now he faces a Red Sox team. They haven't been hitting well against lefties, although they have improved, like I mentioned yesterday. But they are crushing right-handed uh, pitching. Their bats are on fire against righties. Number one over the last 30 days in WRC+, plus on base percentage, number three in isolated power. So they're top-notch against righties over the last 30 days. I expect this Red Sox lineup to to beat up on Stroman here today. Red Sox today sporting their City Connect uniforms, and they thrive when they, when they play with these City Connect uniforms on Saturday. Home games has been the rule for this season. Since they started wearing these uniforms, guys, in 2021, they're 35-10. and 10. This season, they've been stellar. 7-2, and two, but I just don't, still don't trust this Red Sox bullpen. Uh, Justin Slayton and Chris Martin both still out. We saw Jansen pitch last night, so he's back. But I still, this Red Sox bullpen needs some help. They need another arm at the very least. So we're going to, I like Crawford over Stroman, though. So we're going to isolate that matchup again. Take the Red Sox on the first five money line. Negative 125 over at DK. Uh, we don't get the half run. This time, it would be too juicy. It was like negative 166 or something like that. So official play for the video. We'll roll with the Red Sox. 
first five on the money line, negative 125. If you're looking for a hit a prop, look towards Raffaella. He hit a blast last night. He's crushing the Yankees. He has three uh, huge home runs against them this season, and he's two for two with a couple of ribbies against Stroman. He bats a little bit down in the order. Sometimes I try to stay away from those guys, but I think his HRR one and a half, I think it's like negative 125-ish, negative 130-ish. I think that's worth a look. I think him hitting a home run at nice plus money is probably worth a look as well. But like I said, official play for the video, Red Sox in the first five on the money line, negative 125. Like I said, guys, 5% MLB, max bet, locked and loaded, number one over at Sports Memo over the last 30 days in the MLB, also 21 and nine run on five percent plays so we got that locked and loaded early bird football specials you can get the entire nfl season with the rest of the mlb season for 529 dollars i'd encourage you guys to check that all out over at sportsmemo.com like always there'll be a link attached to the video i always have free plays posted on twitter at stevesbook22 as well as at sportsmemo.com Check out those early bird football specials and check out that 5% MLB max bet. Actually, the first Red Sox first five is actually a client play. I actually have three client plays today, so you might be better off getting a seven-day pass for $64. Uh, you would get all three of those plays, including the 5%er. But anyway, guys, hit that like button on the way out if you enjoy the content. No video for Sunday. Be back in action on Monday, though. Good luck today, guys. Enjoy the MLB slate, and I'll see you soon.